question I'm so often asked is where do I start? I want to redecorate my room or my house. So what we do at Designers Guild is create mood boards. Creating a mood board is a great way to start on a new scheme. Bringing together all your chosen elements, fabrics, wallpapers, paints and inspiration. And you can create lots of different mood boards for yourself and keep looking at them. And then finally, you'll be able to settle more easily on the scheme for that particular space. So I think mood boards are just a, a brilliant thing. And today we're going to look at how to assemble them and, and the difference that it can make. Mood boards help me to set the scene, to build on and to layer up the creativity and artistic endeavours. Start with your favourite image, perhaps your favourite painting, a postcard that you've always loved and treasured. Include objects or photographs that have inspired you. Identify the main colours that you love. Are they cool? Are they warm? Any colour that doesn't make you feel happy shouldn't be used. I'm going to start textile-wise with this beautiful, rather um, abstract image of a flower. It's actually beautiful flowers. I love this fabric. I, I know I love it, but I want to see it on a mood board. That would be perhaps the blinds or the curtains. and this kind of really good texture. It's good to get different textures onto the board because that's what's going to make the room alive. So I'm going to use that probably for the sofa. And a very fine texture, a fine linen, which will be behind the um, curtain so that it lets the light through. Quite a good tip is to make sure that you put your sample pieces on the board in relatively the same scale as they will be in the room. Definitely going to use this wallpaper. It's called Manipur. I'm probably going to use that on two walls and then the other two I'm going to use this very soft, or I might use this very soft ecru um, wallpaper and then paint, of course. Often people start with a paint color. I'm just gonna find this vintage green, and with that, I will use our white. We have several shades of white. And because this fabric is quite creamy, I'm going to use chalk. Using multiple shades of one color is a harmonious way of breaking up a palette without veering too drastically from the path. I mean, this is where you can play, you know, I might just add a little bit of lime green, or even, you know, just, just add a cushion there. And that adds a different life. And if I take those away, like that, I can make the whole room feel much more aqua. These smaller pieces might be cushions, might be another chair so that you're getting the scale, you know, that's quite a large sofa, the walls. I hope these suggestions give you the confidence to find your own sense of style and colour. Creating your own special palette, your own language of colours to express yourself will be one of the most fulfilling aspects of designing your home.